Joel Embiid coming off a 37.13 rebound game as the Sixers put up 143 in a rout of the LA Lakers, if that does anything for you. And looking awfully good so far offensively with Tobias Harris in the lineup in two games. Celtic Sixers is game one of the players only doubleheader on TNT. You will hear from uh, Jim Jackson, among others, on that broadcast. And let's talk about Harris now. Just two games in, what kind of an impact has he made on this Philly team? Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's been amazing um, seamlessly for him to fit in because two things he, do, he does extremely well. One is put the ball in the basket, but also he's a willing passer and probably a better defender than what I think Brent Brown and the coaching staff thought. I mean, for him to come in and kind of play the kind of game that he's been able to play, to shoot the basketball, to feel comfortable with his teammates and not take away, but also just add a potent offensive player, I think just shows the skill set. I think it has to do a lot more with this too, guys. The opportunity to compete for a championship maybe this year fuels the energy a little bit more, and you can see a different bounce in the step now that he's here in Philly. Jimmy, have you talked to Coach Brown today at all about the, the struggles they've had particularly against Boston? And specifically, J.J. Redick seems like he's had a tough time making shots against this group. What are they looking at doing differently tonight? I mean, that's a great question because in the past what Boston was able to do was push up especially on J.J. Redick and force him to be a dribbler but when you add the component of what they've brought in personnel wise okay now I think it opens up the floor a little bit more you're going to see a lot more of J.J. again running off of those screens trying to catch and shoot Tobias Harris adds another component because before you could help off a little bit more but with Tobias Harris on the court that adds another score that you had to put eyes on so I do think it will open it up for J.J. to get some cleaner looks. Again, they want to force J.J. to put it on the floor. He's shown that he can do it in the past. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Boston, if they switch up there, how they guard J.J. based on Tobias Harris in the starting lineup. Hey, Jimmy, you're talking about Tobias Harris. Let's not forget another youngster out there who plays a similar position in Tatum. And that could be quite a matchup tonight. And I'm wondering, are they going to go head-to-head -head with matchups or do you think that they might cross-match somehow? Which one? I didn't hear the last part of it. Tatum versus Harris. Tatum versus Harris. To Harris, I think they go straight up. I mean, it's even two. I think the, the double team that you're going to see a lot more probably is in B, just because Baines is not in the lineup. Um, but you know, they want to play straight up. I mean, that's I think that's the key for both teams because one thing you don't want to do, and I think both coaches talk about this, guys, is over help. Okay, you, you got to know when you have a guy under control and when you need to help, and that's the thing that both coaches are emphasizing. That yes, we want to give help. Somebody gets beat, step in, but let's not over over help commit early and give up open three point shots. Jim whether it's to keep their assets for the summertime or because they believe in their roster a good one as it stands the Celtics stood pat at the deadline as you know. What will be the difference between them being the fourth or fifth best team in the East which is currently the case or potentially reaching the NBA finals this spring. As, well, first of all, it has nothing to do with basketball. It has to do with the attitude within the locker room. I mean, this is a team that is talented as anybody, but at the same time, you have some friction. And not like this team doesn't like each other as you know personally, but they're not on the same page from a communication perspective. And I think you also have to ask the question, too, who is our leader? Who is our voice of reason when things are not going well? And I know, Coach Fratello, you understand this, and David and Griff, you understand it. That's so important when you go through – the change, the high expectations. I don't think it's not a basketball issue right now. Yes, they've lost some games, they've done some things, but it's an attitude issue that they have to adjust in order for them to reach the kind of goals that they want to reach. It's going to be fascinating down the stretch. And uh, interesting tonight as well as the Celtics try to win their third straight uh, of the series against the Philadelphia 76ers. Jim Jackson with us from the TNT Players Only broadcast tonight at the top of the hour. We'll see you then.